when we set out to make this film, we wanted to make sure we were true to the characters of Moana. We wanted to do it with songs, with beautiful visuals, and with heart. Everything is built and designed by all of our artists and informed by our creative cultural trust. I am so thrilled about some of these new locations that we're going to take people to. We're going to see a clam the size of an island, <laughs> um, among many other things. Every plant is all placed by an artist, every flower, everything is completely designed. And that comes from the research. And it all is uh, very specific to the Pacific region, but also and we get to go to these fantastic realms. You wanted to come this time. It was really important to us that we take all the beauty of the first film and then we just turn up the dial. And we're so fortunate that this film gets to be in HDR and that color explodes off the screen. And in thinking about that, we go into a monster storm in this film. And when talking to our visual effects team and our lighting team, we were really intentional about making something that would just explode off the screen. We knew things with lightning and clouds that just, it brings such texture and richness. Now I kind of miss the lava monster. Like, I can't imagine watching this anywhere other than the big screen. Dolby Vision, I promise you, your eyes will have a visual feast. It is bonkers, crazy, beautiful. We want our movies to immerse and bring our audience to that world. It allows us to be with Moana, just bring the viewer right there. So you're on that trip with Moana. Moe? <laughs> Boat snack. Oh, Boat snack upgrade. Bacon and eggs.